welcome. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, it's kind of nice to read comments. Thanks for the comment yesterday, Michelle. Um, sorry for the pause. I, I was getting a message. Um, really learning how to get in the habit, asking myself, um, does this support the lifestyle that I want? I guess that's the message that I want to pass along. So the last few messages that I have done really reflected around, you know, what do you want out of your life? It was specifically related to uh, love. So I am going to pull notes from the universe, see what messages come from there. I'm going to pull from Rumi. hope I said that right. Um, and with those, they're beautiful cards, and it does have quite a thick uh, guidebook. I'm not as familiar with those cards. They're one of the first deck I bought. I just didn't get comfortable using them, so I'm going to bring them back out. And I will have to use from the guidebook. And I'm going to switch up my tarot cards, because I've always used the light sears quite a bit. And I thought I'd use some fun... Um, going through the villain's tarot card from Disney. I've got some sage going here. We are right now, the moon is in Virgo. So pay attention to finances. As well, take some time today for self-care. Do some clarity work, whether that's journaling, grounding, meditating, whatever you use to bring clarity in your life use it for today. I have been looking for ways to help support others with mental health. Um, I watch a lot of videos. They do bring clarity to me. They do help me journal. Um, and if you feel like you can donate or you can purchase one of my journals or something off my website, I would appreciate it. Just because I can give um, holistic coaching to those that need it that aren't financial not in financial positions. I think we can change the world by by um, sorry we can change things by how we spread our finances. So I think this is a timely message. There's absolutely nothing wrong with buying material things. I'm not judging on that. But $20 to a small business so they can help others goes a long way. I think big businesses are going to do alright. So smaller people that need our help right now. So if you feel inclined to donate to me or another small business, go ahead. Um, change is coming, and I think as a collective, we can help those in need, not waiting for systems to change because they're not in the business to change. They don't care. So let's see what messages come out. Love messages from the universe. tap and one more shuffle you needn't worry there's no one in your life who hasn't loved you they're all just learning how to show it wow nice message you will be supervised Ask with love, and their answer may surprise you. Yet, whatever their answer, be happy, and this may surprise them. Hubba hubba. You know that dreamy look of deep, soulful love you've sometimes seen in the eyes of another as they gazed into your own? Expect a lot more of it. And enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. Do you know what you've created? Inspiration in the eyes that have watched you, hope in the minds that have admired you, and love in the hearts that have known you. But you might ease up on your chasse, chasse before someone gets hurt. 
interesting. Feels like a love reading, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will. These are bigger, so it's, I find it hard to get my hands on them. Sorry, should have put that on. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I should have put that on mute. Yeah. Fuck. Sacred Union. Before I would have ended and started a new video instead of just pausing, but this is this is the way it is, so I've got to stop thinking everything has to be perfect. Um, <clears throat> it was my daughter calling then. I always pick up when she calls, so. So Sacred Union. Let's see what it has to say. You lucky, lucky angel. You are to be blessed with a sacred union. This union is of the lover and the beloved, the masculine and the feminine, that which appears to be opposite will no longer appear to be so. There is a coming together that is destined and divine. You are to be swept up in a wave of love. You will be surprised. The sign is coming to you with this oracle is that of great love bestowed by the hand of grace. What this means is there is destiny at play in matters of the heart. There is heart healing and letting go of past obstacles, sufferings, and misunderstandings. If you watched my last video yesterday, I think, it doesn't matter, but since Saturn retrograde, the last few that I've posted have been about releasing about marriage just releasing um low vibrations around marriage I, i'm divorced uh, so there's still no matter how long you've been divorced or separated there is baggage layers upon layers of of hurt and joy that needs to be let go it wasn't always bad um This is saying that the great cosmic matchmaker has taken up your cause. So if you've been, I'm just giggling because I hope a friend of mine watches this. Um, if you have been talking to the divine or the universe, the cosmic mass matchmaker has taken up your cause. And if you already in a, are in a relationship, accept, expect that there will be healing of that relationship in whatever that you need. You do not need to know how it's going to play out. It may result in a deepening of commitment to your lover, but it will certainly also result in a deepening of your own commitment to love. Definitely is following along the theme of what the last few readings. So yeah, this is going to be a love reading. Knight of Cups. I don't know why I looked at that. You can see them. It is romantic following your heart. Take that. I'll pull three. Or I'll wait for three to pull out. Jump out. If not, I'll pull them. First three cards are things that may be rising up from the past. Verse three. So we have two sevens. 
So take note. Um, you can Google what sevens mean. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but you have a tower moment, which absolutely makes sense. Tower moments are all about um, the collapse of something, a release of something. The tower has come up in the last few readings. I think tower moments are happening <laughs> collectively. But tower moments is, is definitely about releasing that old. So again, go back and look at what you're still holding on to in past relationships. We have the seven of wands and the seven of coins. Wands is all about creativity and fun. Coins is all about abundance and practical. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Coins are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And the seven of wands is you're on guard if you can see okay the old queen and snow white is on guard this is what's rising in you from the past probably old secure insecurities about relationships okay jealousy may be coming to a head um, fear around abandonment okay and you have seven of coins patience Okay, I think it's Scar. He did wait patiently, but okay. So go back and look to see what's rising in you around past hurt. Okay, I think this is the most important card. Okay, but be patient with yourself. What haven't you cleared from your past? You don't want to bring that forward. Present energy. Present energy, thank you. Present energy. Present energy. And one more. It's way too many. It doesn't pop out. I pulled the top one. wand energy that's that fire energy we've got the five of wands we've got the ace of wands and the empress five of wands there may be something that's your partner is doing that's triggering your past you want to clear that now okay we have the empress abundance and nurturing reflect on how you handle that upset. Are you repeating patterns from the past? Are you being too nurturing and not speaking up? Okay. And your Ace of Wands is all about being creative. Okay. Possible future energy. Possible future energy. Possible future energy. Thank you. We've got... Two pages, wands and of cups. Again, we've got page of cups, which is creativity. And we've got page of wands, which is inspired. So I think in the future, you definitely need to be on an inspiration, creativity kick to bring in that love. You've got the six of cups in your possible futures, kindness fun, pure, innocent. You've got the two of swords, which is assessing one's life. And you've got justice. Justice came out before too. Okay. And justice is about fairness, equality, and balance. So in your possible future, you're definitely going to want to bring more creativity into your life. Okay. Maintain in a balance. Um, to ensure that you're manifesting the life that you want. 
pause and reflect into past energies that may be coming up. Are you guarding your heart too much? Not letting anybody in? Okay. I think I think your love life is going to change. You've got to do a little bit more shadow work around it to manifest what you want, but it's it's looking good. Take care.